Hi guys and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now today we are going to be making this very simple cracked fondant technique effect. Just look how beautiful it is. I have used a dark gold on mine. You can use a much lighter gold if you want. It's very easy. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have just covered a cake dummy, but you can obviously use this to cover your cakes. As always, everything you need to know in a simple step-by-step -step format. It's completely edible, easy to make, but so, so effective. Happy baking, guys. Let's make a start, and I do hope I help you again today. Start by placing your freshly baked, crumb-coated cake onto a piece of baking parchment. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am using a 6-inch round, 5-inch deep cake dummy. Taking a small amount of black fondant, I dust down my work surface with some icing sugar and roll this out into a round shape that will be big enough to cover the top of my six inch cake dummy. In order to accidentally prevent this from sticking to any surfaces, I have placed it onto some baking paper. Taking a blood blow torch, you now want to go over the top layer of the fondant. This will just make the fondant taste like toasted marshmallows and it is delicious. Go over it all and you will see it bubble slightly and that is the effect that you're wanting to achieve. Go over all of the fondant evenly. Now using a dark gold metallic paint, which is completely edible by rainbow dust, I choose to airbrush my fondant. Now, it, this does not pick up what I am actually seeing with my own eyes because of the angle that you are at. You can paint any edible paint directly on there if you choose to. I choose to give it a layer with this first and then off camera I do add a little bit more using a fine paintbrush. So whilst that is to one side setting, I've just repeated this process but this time I have rolled out my fondant so it is just over 5 inches deep. And the diameter of this is long enough to actually be able to be wrapped around my six inch cake dummy. I then place it onto a long piece of baking paper. Just like we did previously, taking your blowtorch, go evenly all over the fondant. I then airbrush this with my dark gold metallic by Rainbow Dust. This takes a lot longer because obviously there's a bigger surface area. And then off camera, once I've got the initial layer, I just go over this again with the same colour but using a paintbrush. I then leave these to one side just to allow them to dry. Once the edible paint is dry to the touch, just take a rolling pin and start rolling over the top in different directions. Now this particular fondant I'm using is quite hard. It's not set as the air's only got to it from one side and not both. And we're using the wrapping round method anyway. So it is a little bit more difficult than some other fondants. But you'll find as you roll, take your time doing it, all of the paint on the top will start to crack as the fondant starts to change shape underneath. And it gives you that beautiful cracked fondant effect. It really is as simple and as easy as that. We will then be placing this onto the cake dummy along with the other piece from round the outside. But I'm going to speed all of this up just so that you can see the effect you will have. So on your crumb coated cake that would act as a natural glue but because I'm using a cake dummy I just cover the top of this with a small amount of cooled down boiled water. You then want to take your piece of fondant and drape it over the top and just gently cut off any excess on the outside. We will then be making a start on the sides of the cake. 
So this is the long strip that I had. I've already started and rolled it out a little bit off camera. But that's all you need to do. Just take your time. Get all those beautiful creases in there. And then just to make it that little bit easier to wrap around the cake, I cut a line away from the base just so it's nice and straight. Doesn't matter how wobbly the top part is because we'll be cutting off any excess fondant anyway. And then you just want to wrap it around your rolling pin and we're going to gently drape this around the cake dummy. In your case, it would be a cake. Again, the cake dummy has been covered in cooled down boiled water, but your crumb coating will act as a natural glue. Okay, so once it's all secured around the outside of the cake, first of all, you want to cut the excess fondant off where the fondant first of all ends upon the cake to where the other part meets, if that makes sense. But because of this lovely crackled effect that you've got on there, you can barely see where you actually cut the line. Then you simply want to take a sharp knife and cut off the excess fondant around the top. But be careful with this because you don't want to damage or accidentally damage that beautiful top layer of fondant that you've already added on there. So take your time. Get it precise and you'll end up with that beautiful crackled fondant effect with that gorgeous flawless finish. Once you have trimmed away the excess fondant from the top, you will have a little rim that is visible just around the outside. I simply take my edible paint and a brush and go all the way around the rim and it really is as easy as that. And there we have it. Who would have thought something so beautiful and something that looks complicated would actually be so, so easy to make? Now, obviously, you need to take into consideration if it's very humid, the paint will take a lot longer to dry. I didn't have too many problems, but the blowtorch does help because you've added an awful lot of heat to that fondant as well. So as soon as you're applying paint, it literally almost dries straight away. Try not to paint it on too thick. That's another tip that I would give. But just imagine this as a beautiful autumn wedding cake. Three tiers, stunning flowers with that beautiful cracked fondant effect. Simplicity at its best. That's how I like to call it. Anyway, guys, I really do hope I've helped you again today. I will be back soon with more new, completely free content. And I believe we now have 159 tutorials available. So get stuck in. If you're new to my channel, there's plenty to look at. Take care, guys, and I will be back soon. Happy baking, everyone.